Welcome back to Upfront. We're taking a deep dive today into the economic and employment outlook for Wisconsin in 2021. Many businesses suffered in 2020. The pandemic hit the hospitality and leisure industry and small businesses hard, but other businesses thrived. Next, the view from the C-suite, what business leaders see in 2021. And we're talking now with Kurt Bauer. He's the president of Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce, the state's largest business lobby. So Kurt, we appreciate having you back here again on Upfront. And I want to ask you, what is the business community expect in 2021? Well, it's mixed. Um, it's not terribly pessimistic, but it's not terribly optimistic either. There's a, a lot of unknowns entering into the year. Obviously, we've got COVID-19 uh, still with a vice grip over the economy. We're hoping that the vaccine is distributed and it begins to ease uh, pressure on the economy and we begin to, to grow again. We also have a new administration coming in in Washington, D.C. There's uncertainty as to what the uh, Biden policies will mean for businesses. What will he do on energy, taxes, regulation, all the things, the major costs of doing business. So you know, th th I think there, there's some optimism. Obviously, we're not as bad as we were six months ago when we were really in the grip, vice grip of COVID-19. Well, and when it comes to the new Wisconsin economic forecast, we just talked about this in our previous segment. That is expecting employment to recover early 2023 in Wisconsin, but the rest of the country to recover by the end of 2022. Why do you think there's that lag between Wisconsin and the rest of the country? Traditionally, Wisconsin has lagged coming out of recession the rest of the, con uh, the country, but that's typically because manufacturing doesn't do well in a, in a recession. Frankly, w Wisconsin manufacturing has done very well throughout COVID-19, so I don't know that we're going to have that same lag effect. Right now, we're at 5% unemployment. We started the year at 3.3. We got as high as 14.1% unemployment, and right now, the number one concern from members, as we're seeing anecdotally talking to our members and also from an economic survey that we'll have out in the uh, first part of the year is that they're having trouble finding workers. So it depends on how you measure it, but at 5%, we're getting close to full employment. And right now, businesses are hiring. And when it comes to the vaccine, how critical is that in terms of employees getting back to work or staying at work? Look, the, the, the fortunes of, of the economy and of jobs and of thousands of businesses depends on, on that vaccine. I, I can't overstate the importance. Uh, it really, if, if we can get that thing administered, distributed, uh, we can really begin to recover the economy and, and get people back to work, particularly in hospitality, leisure and entertainment. And some labor attorneys have said that you can require employees to get the vaccine. Is that your understanding? We're researching that right now. I'm not so sure that I would go that far just yet, but we're researching it. There's, there's going to be a lot of uh, a discussion about that. What guidance are you giving your members so far? I'm sure people are reaching out asking about this. They, they are, and we don't have a lot of data yet. We're, we're, we're trying to work with the Evers administration. Uh, the CDC came out uh, the, the end of uh, December w with some of the guidelines uh, on who's going to be vaccinated first, uh, the priorities, uh, where everybody si is situated. So we're still working out the details on that, and, and we're going to get information out to our members as soon as we possibly can. And last week on Upfront, Democratic Congressman Mark Pocan said that he expects Congress to talk about more relief in January another relief package potentially. How important is that, do you think? Well, we're pleased with uh, the, the phase five uh, because it has the payroll protection program fully funded. We think that that's important. Uh, we're not necessarily happy about the $300 per week supplemental to state level unemployment insurance for the reason that I mentioned. Right now, uh, businesses are having trouble finding employees and we don't want disincentives for people to find work. Uh, so I'm not really sure what would be in a phase six uh, relief package. From our perspective, we'd like to see legal liability to pr protect businesses and others, schools and so forth, as they reopen from uh, frivolous lawsuits. And that's something actually I asked Congressman Pocan about, and he pushed back on that, saying that you can't just give companies broad liability, that people haven't really been filing a lot of frivolous lawsuits, and there are, he, he cited meat manufacturing places that maybe have been negligent towards their employees. So what's your reaction to that? 
Well, I think that uh, the business community has stepped up in a very, very uh, admirable way during COVID-19. They have protected their workers. They have shifted the way they do production for social distancing and masking. And, and, and so I just fundamentally disagree with the congressman. I think businesses have done what they need to to keep people safe at work. They should not be punished with frivolous lawsuits. And, and we have seen uh, some of them uh, beginning. And I think we're going to see a lot more of them. And it's not just businesses, by the way. We hear this from K-12. Uh, uh, the tech colleges, private colleges and universities, uh, the uh, the UW system, all of those different groups need broad liability protection so they can get back to normalcy. I know that you mentioned this a little bit, but you have that CEO survey every six months. What was one of the biggest finding aside from the fact that you said companies are saying they need more workers? Th that did surprise me uh, because I did anticipate seeing uh, COVID-19 as a number one concern going into 2021. And uh, again, work workforce was our biggest problem going into 2020. And apparently, as we begin 2021, we have that consistent consistency. The, the other thing, as I said earlier, they're, they're very concerned about what the Biden administration uh, will do, what, what, what those policies mean for uh, their ability to, you know, have certainty and understand uh, the, the, the regulatory structure, tax structure. And it's certainly as a manufacturing state, we're very concerned about what it means for energy because manufacturers use a lot of energy. And if the energy is expensive, we're uncompetitive and that'll cost us jobs. Kurt Bauer, WMC president. Thank you. My pleasure. The pandemic wiped out hundreds of thousands of jobs in Wisconsin. Coming up, how many we've recovered and what organized labor says working people need in 2021. I'll talk with Stephanie Bloomingdale of the Wisconsin AFL-CIO. That's next.